Hello everyone, welcome you all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a program to install a APK file or app on virtual device as well as real device. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to start a virtual device. So to do this, I need to open your uh, Android Studio. So let me just, I already opened my Android Studio. So this is my Android Studio. So once you open this Android Studio, you need to just go for AVD Manager. So this one we already seen in the previous video. So just click on this AVD Manager. And once you click on this AVD Manager, here we have created a few virtual devices earlier. So I'm going to just launch this particular virtual device. So when you click on this one, so this small arrow mark, it will launch your virtual device. So as soon as I click on this, it will open up one virtual device like this. I already opened this. So this is my virtual device. So now I'm going to install an APK file or app in this particular virtual device using Appium script. Okay. So to do this, first of all, we need to start Appium server also because we have to recognize this server. We have to recognize this particular device. All right. So let me just start the uh, Appium server. I have to click on this small icon and it will start your Appium server. Let me just click on this. And this will open up Appium server window. All right, so once it will open this window, so this is called Appium desktop server window. We need to start server and then it will be able to identify your virtual device. Let me just start clicking on start server. Okay, now my Appium server is up and running. Just we need to minimize this. So once we minimize this, now let's go to Eclipse. And before that, if you want to see whether this device is properly connected or not, you can just go ahead to the command prompt. And in this command prompt, you can just execute one command called okay, so adb.exe is a command which you have to give adb.exe devices. So this command will give you what are all devices which are connected to your system so currently it is showing emulator triple five four so this is a virtual device a name and which is appeared here so that means our connected virtual device now let's minimize this so now you are ready with our virtual device and appm server is up and running so now let us start writing our code so before start writing our code we need to understand few important things are how our code can how our code can understand your virtual device Right, so we have to specify uh, something called desired capabilities. Okay, so we have to just create a, uh, an object of desired capabilities class, and uh, by using this object, we can just specify all kinds of mobile configuration. It can be virtual device or it can be real device. So let's say DC is my object of desired capability. So we have to create an object for desired capabilities, and uh, DC dot set capability is a method. So by using this particular method, we can specify all kinds of mobile configuration. And uh, what are these desired capabilities currently we have? So mobile capability dot type, automation name, platform name, platform version, and device name. So these are the desired, different type of desired capabilities we have to specify for the specific mobile. And along with this, we need to also specify where is my uh, file, so APK file because this is a file we are going to install on your app. So install on your mobile. So we have to also specify the location where your app is present. So the capability name is app. So what, how many capabilities we have here? Automation name, platform name, platform version, device name, and app. So these are the capabilities, desired capabilities we have to specify based upon your device type. So currently I'm going to use a virtual device. So for virtual device, the capabilities will be different. So the virtual device, the capabilities are like this. Appium is automation name. Automation underscore name is Appium. And the platform underscore name is Android. And currently my virtual device uh, created uh, based upon 9.0 Android version. So platform version is 9.0 and device name so whenever you are using with emulators like uh, virtual devices android virtual devices you have to specify android emulator as a parameter this is a device name this is a constant okay so these are all parameters uh, desired capabilities we have to pass to recognize your uh, uh, recognize your virtual device or it can be real device in case of re real device we need to pass uh, different uh, values here 
So this is your location where your APK file is present, right? So first we need to uh, first we need to write all these desired capabilities and we need to set them, and then we can start writing our code. Let me just show you here. So let me just go to Eclipse. So now virtual device is ready. My RPM server is also up and running. All right. So let's go to your Eclipse. Now this project we already created earlier or else you can just create, go to the file and new Java project and then attach all the dependencies like uh, Java client, APM client, APM Java client. And also we need uh, Selenium standalone library, right? So we have added these libraries or dependencies to this particular project. Now let us start creating new class or script. So I'm just giving uh, this as, so example, one so install app on right uh, emulator so install an app on android emulator so this is just a name of the class i'm giving this is an example one so in this example i'm going to show you how to install app on your emulator emulator means your virtual device now let us take a main method then finish all right so now it is created a new class so within this main method first of all we need to set a uh, desired capabilities okay so let me add a few desired capabilities here so here this is a desired capabilities class we have to import this class from org.openq.selenium.remote okay done so now mobile capability type is also we have to import from ivo apm.java client remote so this particular class will come from apm client so import this all right so these are all desired capabilities for your virtual device. So automation name is APM, platform name is Android, platform version is 9.0 and whichever version you have in virtual device, you have to specify that version without quotations. And here this is Android emulator. This is called as a name of the device. This is basically emulator of Android. So we have to say Android emulator. So whenever you are trying to write over some code and we want to execute on virtual devices, this code is common thing. So this is the same piece of code you have to just copy paste for every test case. Okay. So now we have defined all the desired capabilities which are required. And now we need to also specify where is my APK file is present. Okay. So I'll say DC dot set capability. Let me just write set capability. set capability of so again we have to use the same thing mobile capability type dot app okay so app so comma and in the double quotations we have to specify where is my app is there so my app location how to specify so my app is present under c drive apk files here i have an app called indiamart.apk so this will install uh, indiamart uh, app on your device so let me just give this path in your code so here i mentioned this path and slash and the name of the apk file also we have to pass and then specify this okay so this is my location where my app is present and everything you have to keep in your double quotations so apk file indiamart.apk so as soon as i mentioned that so it is giving some invalid error let us see what it is we have to give all our double slashes okay fine so now i have mentioned the location where my app is present so these are all configuration stuff so we need to just create desired capabilities class object and by using that object you can set all the capabilities so once we have done this we need to create one more uh, variable of url class object this is a predefined class called url for this class i'm creating one object called url is equal to new url so here we need to specify the appian server running url okay that is very very important app your server is always running in your local host once 4723 port right so that url we have to specify because our code will basically call your server appm server which is already running here right so this is appm server will be called and this appm server will interact with your device okay so the url which we have to use it here is appm server url so here i am going to use my appm server url is this one http column and you can also write local host here because your appm is running in your local host and by default appm server will run on 4723 number is port and wd slash hub okay 
and then semicolon. So this uh, our code will basically call this particular URL. So URL will also we need to import from java.net package. Okay, done. So now this will open up the URL and also it will throw some exception. Just add that exception. All right, so done. Now here we need to, so till here we have just configured all the desired capabilities where we mentioned all the more device details. And now I also import, I also open this URL and then we need to just install app on your device. So how to install app on your device. So here we need to create a special class called Android driver class. Android driver, Android driver. And uh, here we have to just say one variable called driver object. We have to create it. Normally in the web driver, we'll create a Chrome driver or Internet Explorer driver, Firefox driver class object. Similarly here, Android driver object class we have to create. It's a driver is equal to new Android driver, new Android driver. And here we need to pass two parameters. One is URL we have to pass. And the other one is these all settings should be applicable, right? So should apply it to this particular uh, driver. So we have to also pass DC as a parameter. DC is nothing but as an object of desired capabilities. Okay, then semicolon. And Android driver we have to import from io apm dot java client all right so now one more thing we need to add is we have to add a web element in angular backwards here and also here if you want to interact with the some elements on the uh, L, uh, app we need to also add this one so import web element from org open dot selenium okay so that's it so now my code is completed so nothing else so this particular statement will go and install uh, this particular app because this app location is also mentioned as part of desired capability So as soon as we created this Android driver It will go and open this URL in your mobile and then your app will be installed. Okay Let's uh, run and see how this will go and install so my code is completed So currently when I run this code it will go and install my uh, India Mart application or app in my virtual device, right? So let me just focus, put this side and this is my virtual mo mobile currently it is running. Now let me run my code. Just right click, run as Java application. Okay, now we can observe clearly. It will go and now it is interacting with my mobile virtual device, right? So now it will also install India Mart application and uh, it will automatically open the app also. Let's try this, yes. Now you can see clearly observe in my mobile, virtual mobile, it is install my India Mart application and also it is open this application. Okay, so this is how we need to do this. So once we have done this, we can also close the driver. So by adding driver.close, so our driver.quit we can use here. So driver.quit command here we can use because basically it will close your uh, APM server. Okay, it will close your APM server. So it will basically uh, APM server is uh, currently up and running, right? So it will just uh, disconnect that particular session. So whichever APM server is giving the connection or giving the session to you, so that particular session will be terminated by using this particular quit command. Okay, so this is how we need to uh, install an app in your real, a virtual mobile uh, by using your uh, program, by using code, okay? Now the same thing we can also do in real device. Now let us see how we can do the same thing in real device. So let me just close this my virtual device. I'm just closing this or you can also have no issues or minimize this. So now I'm going to connect my real device by using a app. So let me just connect my mobile device. All right, so now I just connected my device using Visar, uh, Visar uh, app. Chrome extension so now we can see my mobile screen so in my mobile this is my real mobile okay real device so in this device I'm going to install uh, application using code so again let's go to Eclipse and again my APM server is running right so now we can just execute this command it will show you how many devices are connected so now we can see it showing two devices so one is my virtual device that is emulator iPhone triple five four and which is already minimized here so this is my virtual device and the other one is my real device. So my real device is also connected. So this is the one which is representing my real device, right? So minimize this. 
so my rpm server is keep on running now let's go to eclipse one more time so let's go to our eclipse and now i will create another example this time i will install app on my real device right so what are what is the thing i can do is i'll just copy the same thing and i'll slightly do some changes so this is example 2 install app uh, android real device okay i'll just real device let's click on ok button okay so now few things we have to change here so what are those things we have to change here is because this is a real device we need to specify the uh, your mobile operating system and instead of this android emulator you have to specify your device name okay let me just specify them so first one is appium this is same and uh, platform is also android this is also same so my mobile version is 5.1 and here we have to put that into double quotations okay previously it is not there in double quotations but at this time you have to do double quotations and here my device is real device so instead of android emulator i need to just say only android okay now the location is same so my app location is also same and my appm server is also running on the same url and everything is same and we also created android driver driver is equal to new android driver i pass this url and the desired capabilities and finally once it is installed i will just uh, quit from the connection session okay now let us see uh, how we can do this is the only change we have to do so what are the changes we have to do here instead of uh, putting the virtual device version we have to exactly specify your real device uh, or real mobile version android version and instead of android emulator here we have to specify only android and then this is your apk file location and it will go and open your device and then it will install your apk file there so again the same app india mart will be installed now let us execute this code and see and before that so let me just uh, make sure your mobile is uh, up and running so i have just connected to my uh, real device so this is my real device then let me execute my code so just right click here run as java application okay now you can clearly observe what is happening here so now it is interacting with my real mobile now you can clearly see it will install app on my real device now it is installing yes all right so now it is installed app on my real device and we also uh, use a quit command right so because the session is automatically closed by this command this time okay so that's the reason app is not open here so we can just go inside and we can see uh, india amart app is installed somewhere let me just open this yes this is the app so when you click on this one india mart so the app is installing your mobile all right so this is how we need to write your small piece of code which will go and install your apps in your virtual mobile or it is a real device real device or a virtual device that is an emulator or it can be simulator okay so that's all for this video so we have seen how to write a small program to install apk file app on virtual device and real device okay so thanks for watching this video